Well, hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here with another Genetry Solar video. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a little preview of my solar wall here. Before I get into that, 833 Genetry, toll free, Monday through Friday, 9 to 4 p.m. As of this video, hours are 9 to 4 p.m. If you need help with your power jet converter, and it is still under warranty, please see the original seller. They can set you up with parts or warranty service or however their policy is. I'm a one-man show and unfortunately I do not have the time to troubleshoot every power jack inverter that comes across my desk. Genetrysolar.com, you'll find custom build power jack inverters, spare parts, replacement parts for your inverters if you need those if you're out of warranty. You can also find Wi-Fi board upgrade kits for power jack inverters. Soon we will have a complete overhaul kit for all power jack inverters which includes our new Genetry Solar control board as well as Genetry Solar inverters very soon. So I have my power station wall, charge wall, whatever you want to call it here. It is a work in progress right now. And I will have these pretty much maxed out. That is in the summertime. See, it's, it's already come on up on fall and the sun is starting to get lower, so I'm not putting out as much. Unfortunately, I am on the grid right now because I'm upgrading my inverter and I figured while I was doing that while it's actually not sitting here I figured I would go ahead and take care of all of this as well so this will be a kind of a preview when everything is all said and done I'll get another video just wanted to update you on my progress so far because um, I think this is pretty cool so what I ended up doing was I took out this wall completely I've got to move this over I got to do some cleaning and stuff right now but I've been so busy um, but you can see I have five Make Sky Blue charge controllers set up here. And those five charge controllers, by the way, if you are looking for charge controllers, cheap ones, and by cheap I don't mean crappy, I mean good value, efficient, and they just do their job. That's, that's the whole point. Um, these are all 60 amp MPPT charge controllers from Make Sky Blue. If you go to MakeSkyBlueUSA.com, you can get a code, or you can use a code, Genetry10, to get you 10% off your Make Sky Blue charge controllers. Disclaimer, I did purchase full price each and every single one of these. So these charge controllers will handle up to 60 amps. You can get a variety of different amps, and some of them are Wi-Fi capable. That is, you can monitor your system over the internet. So, besides that, the PV negative is going to come in through here and actually this is a PV positive, PV positive, PV negative. There's going to be a total of five of these because I will have five separate arrays approximately 2200 watts each. So this will be the negative and the reason that I had to do this is because this is used to wires, four gauge used to wires. So it's too big to fit into these connectors here. This is this will accept a maximum of 10 AWG wire. So basically what I have to do is I have to um, step down the wire size. So I'll have the negative PV connected to here and then I'll have two of the AWG, 10 AWG wire that will run up to the PV negative. And that'll be for all five of these. Now the PV positive is actually going to be through here. I have two more of these on order. These are a little bit harder to get a hold of. These are 100 amp midnight solar DC circuit breakers. I had the option of going with 80 amp, but then at the time I couldn't get a hold of any 80 amp, so I decided just to go with the 100 amp. And you might be wondering, well, why don't you go with the 60 amp? If you go way back in my videos, actually in my other channel, I was using 60 amp uh, DC circuit breakers from midnight solar, and I was pushing about 45 amps through them, and one of them melted. So, uh, I decided to just go with the 100 amp. They're not that much more expensive and these I'm not counting on limiting the current anyway to the charge controllers. It is basically impossible for me to uh, put out any more than 60 amps into these charge controllers um, and I haven't had a problem yet even with peak sun. So I'm not too concerned about limiting current to the charge controllers themselves. Ideally you should match your input and your output, but in my case, I just didn't care. I was looking for heavy-duty uh, breakers. Now, if there's a short, a ground fault of some kind, then these will still 
trip and they'll cut off the the power uh, to the charge controllers from solar okay so these are also obviously this is four AWG used to wire which are coming through here and that will lead out to a pair of 10 AWG that will run into each of these charge controllers again I have two more waiting then from there this will go to the battery so this is a 60 amp breaker uh, resettable breaker um, it's uh, the uh, the magnet or not magnetic it's the um, the heat kind um, but anyway that then will lead to this big bus bar this is a 600 amp positive bus bar so all of my arrays will go into this bus bar which will lead down to the batteries same with the negative on the battery negative of the charge controllers can be shared because they all go to the same point on the batteries anyway what can't be shared is your PV negative to all these charge controllers so each array is isolated by way of positive and negative and then you can combine them all going to the same battery negative but you can't combine them all from the solar this way they're all unique individual arrays so the P the battery negative will all come down to this bus bar here which will then lead to the batteries it's a pretty simple setup I know there's going to be some complaints about, well, you should do this, and you should do that, whatever. This is how I'm setting it up, and I'm perfectly happy with it. So when all is said and done, and these are all up and running, you know, I'll, um, uh, you know, I'll have upwards of 13, 14 kilowatts of solar that I'll be running in this room. So eh, fantastic. And then, of course, I've got my inverter, my big inverter here. It's already been upgraded to the Genetry Solar setup. Here's all my negative wire, my positive wire down here, all that stuff. So, yeah, this thing is uh, basically ready to go. So as soon as I'm done with that, the inverter's going to sit back down here, going to connect everything up, and then I will be styling. So, anyways, uh, obviously, if you have any questions, um, the custom build inverters on my website are available, even though they say out of stock. I like to talk to my customers individually to let them know what they're going to be getting. Soon we will have a Genetry Solar inverter line which I will no longer need to talk to anyone about it. You'll be able to decide for yourself what you need and what is good for you. So when that happens, then I'll just have them in stock if they're in stock on the website. You'll purchase, and then a couple days later, you'll get your, uh, your inverter, depending on where you're at. Um, but there is still a build time for these inverters, and I'm working very hard for everybody to make sure their inverters work perfectly. If you have any questions, 833-GENETRY, toll-free, Monday through Friday, 9 to 4. Again, if you have a problem with your power jack converter that you did not obtain from me, please see the original seller to get service and support for it. Thanks again for all of your support, as always, and take care.